my name is Ndandi Nkosi Kunene, Miss South Africa 2016, and I'm a teacher by profession. So today I'm in my room and I'm here to read for you guys. I'm so excited. The book we're going to be reading today is called Cindy and the Moon. This book was written by Zanele Lamini, Tokozani Mkize, and the drawings and pictures were done by Wesley Van Eden. So looking at the cover outside, what is it that you can see? I can see a bird. I can also see a butterfly. Hmm, I wonder what that is about. Let's start reading. Cindy and the Moon. Cindy was a very lively little girl who loved to sing and dance. She lived on a farm with her parents and her gogo. Cindy enjoyed following gogo around and feeding the farm animals. So they are the chickens, as you can see. And then the birdies are also wanting a meal too. One evening, while Cindy and her family were having dinner, Cindy's mother had something to tell her. Cindy, she said, after the long Christmas holidays, you are going to school. Cindy was so excited. She was happy that she would finally get to learn how to read and write. Look how excited Cindy is. She's thinking of her books and the pens she's going to be writing with. When Cindy was happy, she danced. Her joy spread to the farm animals. The dogs barked more loudly. Woof, woof. The cows mooed more beautifully. Mmm. The butterflies flapped their wings and landed in her hair. What kind of sound do you think butterflies make? I'll let you think about that one. When Cindy danced, she swayed from left to right, as if she were pushed and pulled by the wind. She sang along with its soft and slow music. As the holidays were ending after Christmas, Cindy started to wonder what school would really be like. She did not want her mother to know that she was nervous, so she asked Gogo what school would be like. School is very serious, Gogo said. There's no more time for song and dance, only learning. This did not make Cindy happy at all. Can you see Cindy's face? She's not happy that she can't dance and that she can't sing at school. The night before school started was very hot. Cindy just could not sleep. She tiptoed outside and sat on the stoop, looking up at the dark sky. The moon was big and bright and beautiful and the stars were twinkling. Cindy spoke to the beautiful moon. Dear moon, she said, are you afraid of the dark? Is that why you ask the stars to keep you company? I'm going to school tomorrow. What will it be like? Will they let me sing? Will they let me dance? Cindy started to sing. What she saw next made her rub her eyes in disbelief. Was she dreaming? The moon was smiling and the stars were dancing to her song. Imagine you go outside and you start singing and the stars and the moon, they all start singing your song. I would want to tell everyone. A gentle voice spoke to her. Dear little Cindy, the voice said, school is a wonderful place. You will learn many things to read and write, to sing and dance, and to make many friends. But for now, Cindy, you must rest. Tomorrow will be beautiful. Cindy had never seen anything this amazing. She wanted to wake everyone up and show them the, show them the talking moon and dancing stars. But the moon stopped her. Shh. It said, this is our little secret. The moon winked. Cindy returned to bed, comforted by the moon's wise words, and slept peacefully. The time came for school. Mama held Cindy's hand as they approached the school. She was confident that the day would be beautiful because the moon had told her so. 
Children were arriving with their mothers and fathers. They all looked excited. Cindy could not wait to make new friends. This is Cindy here with her mom. She was so excited to be going to school. By lunchtime, Cindy loved everything about school. I wish the moon could see me now, she said to herself. Now I will learn to read. I will learn to write. But also, I will sing and I will dance. All of Cindy's new friends danced with her, just like the animals had done. They clapped their hands and sang to her tune. And that comes to an end. That was Cindy's first day at school. I'm wondering what your first day of school was like and when we go back to school, how would it be like as well? Guys, join me next time with another book to read to you. I love you all.